here is a tour of the inside of my NBA Jam cab. And you can see that we have a PC motherboard in here. And the PC power supply and a subwoofer and a bunch of cables. Um, but this actually is a pretty self-contained PC setup here. Probably most people who have done PC setups have a lot more going on than this one. This is a Ryzen 3 CPU with an integrated Radeon Vega 3D accelerator on the processor. And it's got an MVNE um, solid state drive that just plugs into that slot. So there's like nothing dangling off this motherboard at all other than just cords. Um, and I could eliminate two of these cords if I wanted to disconnect the ethernet and if I didn't want the keyboard. Uh, there would also be fewer cords if this was a two joystick um, machine, but this is a four joystick machine, so there's four USBs coming out of here just for the controls. But uh, that's pretty much it, just this board right here. And you could almost kind of legit say that this is a single board computer because everything you need is on the board here. There's no drives dangling off or anything. Uh, obviously it's not really a single board computer as most people uh, classify it, but uh, it's pretty compact and uh, there's a lot of space in here still. Uh, I've mounted this to the floor so it's solid. It ain't going nowhere. I put in a couple mounts to hold the power supply in place. It's not going anywhere either. Um, the subwoofer isn't yet mounted down like that, but I could do it that way. Um, so yeah, I could actually transport this around and uh, things would be pretty solid. Um, I do have the power switch connected to the uh, power on the motherboard. It's connected to the standard Arcade 1UP power switch. So I can turn it on right now and you can watch it fire up. Just reach around here, hit the power switch. There it goes. Fire it up, fan spinning. It's all running off Batocera, which is a very nice operating system. Um, for a PC, there's very clean. I don't have to mess around with the Windows OS or any uh, updates or anything like that. Uh, the only reason I got network plugged in is just so I can scrape ROMs and so I could load more ROMs onto it. Uh, it can play GameCube, it can play PS2, uh, and there's a new update for Battlesera that'll let it play uh, Xbox, which I haven't done yet, but uh, Battlesera is pretty sweet and probably the way I would recommend any anybody go for a PC build right now. Definitely there's not as flexible as what you could do with other Windows based machines and other emulators, but uh, with Batocera it all pretty much just works out of the box and everything you need to tweak is easy to do from the menu. So something I did on this machine is now since the light up marquee is always on it wouldn't turn on and off with the machine. I do have a switch I've added here that's on just a barrel plug power that's going into it. So I can turn it on and off whenever I want. And I can turn on the machine with the stock power switch. So for sound on this system, I'm using the built-in speakers for the treble but it does have that subwoofer. It's a Cyber Acoustics so computer speaker subwoofer set, and I just swapped out the main speakers for the speakers that are in the cab, and then connected them to the subwoofer. Another cool thing about this one is the volume control. It comes with this volume control knob, and I just Velcro it to the front here. It can get really loud. It's got a cool LED. It's probably my favorite sound solution for modding these days. Sounds great, a lot of bass, has a nice volume control. I don't have to mess around with GPIO. This is a PC, so there's no GPIO anyway. So 
one of the best choices for a PC mod. And one of the things I was surprised is NBA Showtime actually runs pretty well on this thing. This is the NBA on NBC. There's a little bit of stuttering here at the very beginning. Once it gets going, it's pretty, it doesn't stutter nearly as much. Charlie Ward, Larry Johnson, John Kemp, Bobby Sturt. And after the jump ball, it'll be pretty much good. Trying to play this stuff one handed while well, recording videos. So. I'm normally not quite this bad. Another game, basketball game we could play that uh, you definitely wouldn't be able to play on some lower powered by single board computers would be uh, Run and Gun 2. Again, we don't have all the uh, licenses, so we don't have the we don't have the official logos. We don't have the player names, so it's just kind of generic looking. But uh, the game itself plays really well, and uh, it's pretty fun. Five on five. And the main thing here is to, uh, defense is pretty important. So you need to switch and try to block these shots or try to steal. Then you can get a uh, advantage. Kind of a 3D-ish look, but it's not 3D polygons. But uh, pretty much you just have to get inside, push the shoot button, and you make a nice dunk. Get 
can even do alley oops. If you press shoot and pass at the same time, if someone's in position, just like that. Uh oh. There's a button that controls who you're going to pass it to. You can push that and select who you want to pass it to. It's no turbo. And there's the block. So with this build, I focus mostly on sports games and four player games and two player games that use two joysticks like Total Carnage and Smash TV. Um, with the four joysticks set up, I can have two players uh, doing the movement and the firing for these two games. So you need four joysticks to be able to do that as designed. And uh, so yeah, it's great. And I've been finding some new games I'm not even that familiar with, NBA Play-by-Play. -play. This game is, I think, even more graphically advanced than NBA Showtime. It's not one I'm that familiar with. I haven't really played it before, but uh, graphics are really good and it plays perfectly on the system. I think it's designed to be able to link two, game, two machines together, which I don't have, and I don't know if main really works with that, but uh, so some of the screens are kind of cut off like this. But once you get going, it works fine. And unlike the stock NBA Jam games that come on the Arcade 1-Up, they don't, when you're using these ROMs, of course, you have all the players to your disposal. So if you want to play with Reggie Miller, you can play with Reggie Miller. You can play with uh, Shaq and Kobe there on here. This part's a little weird because it announces the teams the, the opposite times they're coming on the floor. Seems like a bug in the game, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's no stutters at all in this game. It plays perfectly. The uh, mechanics are a bit like uh, Run and Gun and Run Gun 2, if you've ever played those, where you have a shoot and a pass button and a button that switches player. It's five on five. And especially in run and gun, an important part of the gameplay is switching to the right player at the right time so you can play defense and block shots and stuff. Pick for me. Let me shoot a three. Oh, yes. And it's good. Playing this one-handed, so uh, not as good as I could, but it's actually still winning. So anyway, there's this game. Works great. Another game that uh, looks pretty good and runs well on this machine is Virtual NBA. It's a Naomi ROM. It takes a few minutes for this to boot up. I'm going to edit out some of that downtime. It's not going to start as fast for everybody, as you might see it in this video. also plays like a tournament format like uh, run and gun and NBA play by play Uh, 
it uh, runs perfectly.